Alright, so boom, turn me on, don't turn me down. We back at it with another video. Today we got my official playoff prediction 2024 season of the NBA. Now, last week I predicted the play in tournament and I literally went 0 for 4 in my predictions. I did not get not one game right, bro. So <laughs> we gonna try to do better for these playoff predictions, man. I ain't about to waste none of y'all time. This might be a long video. Playoffs start today as I'm recording this Saturday. Man, let's get started, bro. First game we got is the Oklahoma City Thunder. First in the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, OKC, to be honest, bro, they... <sighs> bro, OKC being the number one seed, is that not crazy to y'all, bro? Like... They're a young team. They're a young up and coming team. They got SGA, Chet Hologram. Um, they got Dork, um, Josh Underage, 18 Giddy. You feel me? Like, okay, see, they got a lot of young talent, bro. So it's crazy how they the number one C. It's like they don't even got no playoff experience, bro. Pelicans, some players on the team, they don't really got no playoff experience. I could really see this being a upset, bro. But the thing is. Zion might not even play. I don't even know Zion's stats, bro. Like, status for, like, this whole series. Like, he might play. He might not. Nobody knows. So, with that being said, bro, if Zion is playing, I think the Pelicans could win this series. But if it's no Zion, bro, I got to go with OKC. And I'm going to pick OKC and... I can see the Pelicans is that but they're not OKC is not gonna sweep the Pelicans. It's either it's the Pelicans gonna get one or two games. I'm gonna just go on and say the Pelicans is gonna win two games. And I got OKC in six. That's my prediction right there. So the next match that we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. Now, since like, what, the all-star break, bro? I fell in love with the Mavericks, bro. Like, this team, I already said it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I already said it, bro. If my Warriors are not in the playoffs or my Warriors do not meet the Mavericks in the playoffs, I'm going to be cheering for the Mavericks. Now, I'm not going to be biased in these playoff predictions at all. I'm going I'm to keep it 100, right? So, so all right, so boom. So, the Clippers, obviously, Westbrook, Kawhi, James Harden, uh, Paul George. I think all of them is going to play, right? Okay. Dallas Mavericks, Luka, Kyrie, Gafford, like Mavericks, like they got they got a good squad too. This series is hard to predict, bro. I don't know. I don't know where to go, bro. Like, I really feel like it, this is a seven-game series. Do y'all agree with me with that? This really could be a seven-game series, bro, with the Clippers and the Mavericks. Like, I really could see it going seven games. It's just, who do I think is going to win in game seven? I, I, that's my prediction right here, early prediction right here. I think this is going to go seven games. I just don't know who I want to pick, bro. <sighs> I got to go with the Mavs in seven, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I... I just got to go with the Mavs, bro. Like, the Mavs have been playing some good basketball. They really have. I'm not saying the Clippers haven't been playing good basketball, but it's like, bro, this Mavs team is something different. Like, they, they really got some dogs. I, the Clippers got dogs, too, but the Mavs, like, they really dumb right now. So, I'm going to go with the Mavs in seven. Next up, we got the Timberwolves and the Suns. I don't think the Suns stand a chance, bro. I can't lie to y'all, bro. It's something about the Suns. I just don't I don't I don't see the hype in the Suns, bro. Like they really a six C for a reason, bro. Like I really feel like the Timbles could win in five, but I'm gonna be generous and say six. I think I think the I, I think the Suns gonna get two games, but at the end I think the Timbles is gonna win, bro. Nuggets and the like <laughs> All right, next matchup we got is the Denver Nuggets and the Lakers. Now, if y'all watched the playoffs last season, y'all already know what happened. The Nuggets swept the Lakers in the West Finals. This time around, I feel like the Lakers is going to be more battle-tested. And with that being said, I got the Nuggets winning five. Lakers is probably going to win one game, and that's all I'm going to give y'all, bro. <laughs> I can't lie to y'all, bro. Like, LeBron... 
Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, every single game you complain about your eye hurt. And in some games, your head hurt, bro. What's next, bro? Your ball's going to hurt, bro? Like, it's always something with AD. So, who knows what's going to go on with AD this series. Um, D'Lo, I'm going to give D'Lo his flowers. He's been playing good, bro. Like, I don't know how, but he's been playing good ever since them trade rumors came about. This man D'Lo turned into a whole different NBA player, bro. Like, I got to give him his flowers or not. He been, he been hooping. But at the end of the day, bro, the Nuggets is the NBA champions for a reason. So I got to go with the Nuggets. I'm going to just say that the Lakers is going to win like one game. But I don't think the Lakers stand a chance against the Nuggets, bro. This is basically like the same Nuggets team. So why wouldn't I not pick the Nuggets? You feel me? All right, next matchup we got. Boston Celtics in the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler's stats for this series is unknown. Um, I did check, and they said that he was going to be out for at least two weeks. So with that being said, I got the Celtics winning. To be honest, this might be a sweep, bro. This really could be a sweep. But you know what? I'm going to say... Do I, do I go with the sweep? But the Celtics really have been looking suspect these past couple of weeks because we've been reacting to the Celtics these, these past couple of weeks. They lost to the Hawks bad to bad. They lost to the Hawks in overtime. Then they blew like a 20-point lead to another team too. So, you know what? I'm going to say Celtics in five. I'm going to say that he's going to win one game because I don't know if Jimmy Butler. I don't know Jimmy Butler's stats, bro. And even if Jimmy Butler do come back, let's say he's going to come back. He's not going to come back until like what? Game five, game six, it might be over by then. So yeah, I got Celtics in five. This series right here, I don't, I don't think nobody really cares about it unless you a Cavs or a Magic fan. But we got the Cavs and the Magic. Um, I haven't really been reacting to too much of these two teams, the Magic or the Cavs. So I don't really have too much to tell about these teams. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and say, you know, the Cavs. They got Donovan Mitchell. They got Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. Uh, who else do they got? Levert, the Magic. They got Paulo. They got um, who else do the Magic have, bro? They got they they got Wagner, Frank's Wagner. I, I don't even know. They still got Marco Fultz. I don't even know, bro. You know what? I'm gonna just say the Cavs is gonna win this six, bro. Like, um, uh, I don't know, bro. It's literally a coin toss with this series. It can literally go either way. Now, this is the series that. Boy, the, the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Indiana Pacers. Now, Giannis Antetokounmpo stats is unknown for this series, bro. It is so much superstars injured this playoffs. Do do I realize that? It's so much superstars in, and it's in the East too. The Celtics really got a cakewalk to the finals, but we're gonna talk about just that just now. But yeah, Jimmy Butler, he he out. You feel me? Donovan Mitchell, he banged up. Giannis, he out. Randall, he out. Like, God damn, bro. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, Yeah, well, Giannis, he, he, I don't know if he's going to come back or not, bro. They saying he's going to come back around, like, what, like, game two, game three, maybe. This really could be an upset right here. The Pacers really could upset the Bucks. But you know what? I'm going to just say this is going to go seven games, and I got... The Pacers is still a young team. You know, the Bucs, they still got Damian. You feel me? Even though Damian Leonard, he hasn't really been playing too good this season. But I feel like he'll play good enough this series to get the job done. Um, I'm trying to see, bro. I think I got Bucks and... This really could be a seven-game series, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go on and say Bucks in six. I got I got Bucks winning in six. Next matchup we got is the New York Knicks and the Philadelphia 76ers. Now Embiid is back playing basketball. Um obviously he's not a hundred percent. So we gotta take that in. Um who else do the 76ers have? They have um Tobias Harris, they have Tyrese Maxey. New York Knicks, they've been playing good. Uh, Jalen Brunson, uh, Dante DiVincenzo, they got Josh Hart. Um, they got they got a lot of good pieces, bro. So with that being said, I got I got Knicks winning in. I think this is going seven. I got Knicks winning in seven, bro. 
I just feel like Philly, bro, like with MB coming back, he's not fully 100%. I don't think Philadelphia could get the job done and win this series. So that is my first round for the playoffs. We're going to go through all of these rounds in this whole video. I'm not about to. Well, I mean, I could end this video. How long have I been, have I been recording? For 10 minutes? I'm trying to see. Should I? I'm trying to see. Should I, like, wait for the first round to be over and then make a part two? Or you know what? Matter of fact, I'm going to just. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and just go through all of these. And then, wait, it says bracket locks in five days. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just go through all these. All right. So, the next matchup we got is OKC and the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, bro. I think the Cinderella story for OKC comes to an end right here. Dallas, they have Kyrie. They have Luka. Both of those players have playoff experience. Luka went to the uh, West Finals, and then he lost to my Warriors in five. Kyrie, he obviously has a ton of playoff experience. He's an NBA champion. OKC, they're a young team. I think this is a lot of guys. First time even going to the conference semifinals. So, with that being said, I got the Mavs winning in... It's either going to be five or six. I can't lie to y'all. I got the Mavs winning in five or six. Next matchup we got is the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Denver Nuggets. Um... I'm trying to think, bro. Car and D. Towns, Anthony Edwards, Rudy Goldberg versus Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. And they got Michael Porter Jr. too. Minnesota, I think it can really go either way, bro. That matchup with Nikola and, and Rudy is going to tell the difference, bro. But I still don't think... Rudy has what it takes to guard Nikola, bro. Like, it's so hard guarding him. I don't watch Nikola play three different times, bro. This man is not human. This man was definitely made in the lab. So, with that being said, the Nuggets, obviously, they champs. I got to go with the Nuggets. I'm going to say the Nuggets in... Uh, to be honest, bro... Y'all might y'all might sound crazy, but ah, I was gonna go five. It's either gonna go five or six, or it really could go seven, bro. I'm gonna just say Nuggets and six, bro. So with the West Finals, we're gonna have the Dallas Mavericks and the Denver Nuggets. All right, next matchup, we got the Boston Celtics and the Cavaliers. Cavaliers, your time is over. Um, I don't think the Cavs have what it takes to keep up with the Celtics. So, with that being said, I got, to be honest, this might be a sweep, bro. But I'm just going to go ahead and say the uh, Celtics is going to win it five. So, the uh, next matchup we got is the Milwaukee Bucks and the New York Knicks. Ha ah, shit, bro. So, I don't even know Giannis, what his stats is going to be around this time. But let's say Giannis, he's not 100%. You know, Damian Lennon, probably a little bit tired of, you know, Carrying the low for the team and all that, you know, carrying the team on his back. Um, New York, they're a young team. You know, they really don't have nothing to lose. I don't even think anybody expected them to be a top three seed this season. So with that being said, you know, fresh legs, young team. Giannis a little banged up. Damn, man, he's probably a little tired from the, you know, the Pacers series. You know, Bobby Portis, you know, Chris Middleton, you know, they probably a little banged up too. You know, New York, I feel like they they got more depth than the Milwaukee Bucks. So with that being said, I got the New York Knicks. I actually think this is gonna be a uh five or six series. I'ma just say I'ma just say uh Knicks and seven, bro. Knicks and seven, so that's what I got right here. So we got the East Finals with the Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks. And then on the other side, we got the Dallas Mavericks and the Denver Nuggets. Now, Denver, they just had a tough battle with the Timberwolves in six. Not really tough of a battle with the Lakers. But, you know, the Nuggets, they did go to the finals last year. You know, I feel like I feel like now their bodies is getting a little tired, man. Like, they play the most basketball. You know, out of, like, all these teams in the West. You feel me? So, it's like, they bodies, it's probably drained, bro. 
they probably getting a little tired. They probably like, ah, damn. Now we got to go ahead and play the Mavs with Luka and Kyrie. So with that being said, I got the Mavs going to the finals. And I got the Ma- I got the Mavs in seven, bro. I feel like this is going to be a crazy series. Definitely, I feel like this is going to be like the best series in the playoffs right here with the Mavs and the Nuggets. Um, uh, Gafford, I feel like he's going to have a tough time trying to guard Nikola. Nikola, he's definitely going to get us like free throws in. Y'all already know how Nikola be playing. He's a free throw machine. But at the end of the day, I got the Mavs going. Um, I got the Mavs going to the finals, bro. I do. I feel like it's the Mavs um, year to go to the finals. I feel like it's, it's going to be hard, though. Like, they got to go against a tough Clippers team. Then they got to go against OKC. And then they got to go against the defending champs. But, bro, I have been, bro, I have been reacting to a lot of Mavs games lately, bro. And I just I just feel like it's, it's their time this year, bro, to go to the finals. Last time the Mavs was in the West Finals, like, they didn't even have Kyrie, bro. It was just Luka going crazy, bro. Imagine if they had Kyrie. Who knows? They probably would have upset my Warriors. Like, real talk, man. Keep it 100. So, you know, this time around, man, with the uh, playoff experience with Luka and Kyrie, I feel like they'll get it done in seven. Next matchup, we got the Boston Celtics and the New York Knicks. And I feel like this is going to be the Celtics' toughest matchup this series. Um, New York. When was the last time they went to the East Finals or the Finals in general, bro? It's been a little minute. <laughs> I don't even think they went since, like, until, like, the, what, the 90s or something? But, yeah, this is going to be a crazy, toxic matchup. I can already tell, bro. But I got the Boston Celtics winning. I feel like this is definitely going to go, like, six or seven uh, games. I'm going to just go ahead and say the Boston Celtics is going to win in six. And with that being said, the NBA Finals for this year is going to be the Dallas Mavericks versus the Boston Celtics. Now, I've been debating with myself, you know, all morning because I've been, you know, thinking in my head, all right, who am I going to choose to go to the finals? Who am I going to choose to even win the finals, bro? So a lot of thinking came into this, bro. Boston, Boston, these past couple of weeks, they haven't really been looking the same. You know, I. I pro- bro, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I almost didn't even have the Celtics going to the finals the way they've been playing, bro. But it's like just seeing the teams they gotta go against and some of these teams is banged up. There's no way they don't make the finals, bro. Just look at this, bro. Banged up. Banged up. You know, Julius Randle. You know, Giannis banged up. Mitchell banged up. Butler. You, you feel me? So it's a lot of banged up star players they gotta go against, bro. So it's like, why, why? Why would I not choose them to go to the finals, bro? I just feel like that would, that would be a fool out of me, man. Mavericks, it really... I ain't going to lie, bro. The Mavericks, they might not make the finals, but I got them going to the finals. But with that being said, this is going to be a crazy matchup, bro. This is really going to be a crazy matchup. Tatum, Jalen Brown back in the finals. Porzingis, I think this is his first time in the finals. Um... Drew Holiday, he's back in the finals. Remember, the last time he went to the finals was when he was with the Bucks, when they went against the uh, Phoenix Suns. So, obviously, so does they got some type of playoff experience, bro. Uh, Luka, first time in the finals. You know, um, Kyrie, obviously, he been to the finals with the Cavs. You know, when he was with the Cavs, my Warriors blew 3-1 lead. Don't really want to talk about that, but... With that being said, bro, I, I I really want the Mavs to win the finals. Obviously, I'm going to be cheering for the Mavs to win the finals. But I feel like, bro, Mavs, if, if, if it's really going to go like this, Mavs is seven against the Clippers. Mavs is six. You know, Mavs is seven against the Nuggets, bro. Like, Mavs might be tired as shit, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. The Celtics, five. Five. And some of these could be sweeps. You feel me? So it's like. So this, they're going, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be more energized. They ain't going to be tired and all that. So with that being said, I got so this one in. I got so this one in in six, bro. I honestly feel like the Celtics is going to win the finals this year. I feel like it's going to be a cakewalk, bro. Like, yeah, they, they've been looking suspect these past couple of weeks, but I feel like they're going to hit the light switch, and they're going to win the finals, bro. I don't want them to win the finals. Obviously, I'm going to be cheering for the Mavs. I don't want to be biased in this video. Obviously, if I was being biased, I, I definitely would have picked the Mavs to win the finals. But just, like, thinking everything through, bro, like, 
you just gotta you just gotta look around the table, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, just look who they going against, bro. Like, do y'all really see any of these teams upsetting the Boston Celtics, bro? Like, we just gotta we just gotta like really think about this, bro. Like, I don't see none of these teams upsetting the Boston Celtics in the East. In the West, I could see it if the Nuggets go. You feel me? If the Nuggets don't, you know, do like long series, I can see it. If the Mavs don't have too much of long series, like game six or game seven, you know, maybe the Mavs could actually pull it off. But I feel like if the Celtics don't win it this year, they're never going to win it. They might as well just go ahead and just like tear everything up and trade Tatum Brown, bro. Because if, you, if you're not going to win it this year, you're never going to win it, bro. So I got the Celtics winning in six against the Mavs, man. Y'all comment down below. Who do y'all have? Winning the playoffs, the NBA Finals this year.